Unit conversion problems can be tricky, so here's how to break them down and make them simple. Unit conversion problems are all about finding what measurement, in this case it's milligram, you're comparing to the other measurement, so it's decagram. So in this one we want milligrams per decagram, so we're gonna have M milligram over D decagram. And to convert this, we need to set up some ratios, but the bottom line is we need to have milligrams on top and decagrams on the bottom. So looking at the question, a hospital stores one type of medicine in two decagram containers, so two decagrams, based on the information given the box above how many one milligram doses are in their one two decagram containers. So again, milligram over decagram, and let's start with the first piece of information. So one decagram is 10 grams. We know we're converting these two, we're gonna have one over the other. We see that we have decagrams on the bottom, so we're gonna start with one decagram and 10 grams. So we're saying there's 10 grams per one decagram. Keep converting this, we're gonna use the second piece of information down here, and we have milligrams per gram. And again, we know milligrams have to be on the top, so we have 1,000 milligrams, per one gram. So we have milligrams on top, decagrams on bottom. We have grams in there, but we know we got it right because we have grams on the top and on the bottom, meaning they will cancel out. So when you multiply them, we'd have grams on top, grams on the bottom, and we could just cancel those out. And lastly, we're talking about two decagram containers, so we'll add a times two. So now that we got all our ratios in place, we just have to multiply and solve. 10 times 1,000 times two is 20,000, and our answer is D.